it's October 5th, 2012, and I thought you might like a bit of a view of the Erie Canal. I've been running beside it for quite some while now. I'm not sure how long the, uh, the path goes for, but uh, maybe most of the way. <laughs> well, the canal is more than 500 k's long, so uh, that would be one of the best cycle paths in the world if it did mirror the canal all the way. Anyhow, I won't be on it for that long. In fact, probably not more than about another three or four k's. Just for some background, the Erie Canal was first uh, talked about in the, I think around 1814, and they finally began construction a few years later, and it took till 1825 to build the canal that stretches from the Hudson River to Lake Erie. Now what that allows is for um, boating traffic and ships, not obviously really large ships, but um, barges and boats that can carry quite a, a bit of cargo to sail all the way inland to um, the Great Lakes and from there onwards to the extent of you know, Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. So it was a huge bonus for uh, trade in the early 1800s. You can see some of the leaves starting to turn colour. This will be going on for the next month or two. It's only early autumn at the moment. But the temperatures certainly have dropped. see a lot of the leaves in the canal itself. Whenever there's a major waterway, whether it be a lake, ocean, river, canal, and there's a bit of civilization around, towns along it, and maybe even a big city. You can usually rely on a cycle path of some sort, or just a footpath that's uh, not open to the to motorized vehicles, which makes for much more pleasant running. By the way, about, uh, let me see, about eight kilometres ago, seven or eight kilometres ago, I passed the 300 marathon mark for the journey so far. So that's uh, 300 marathons I've run so far this year. I'm not sure how regularly this uh, canal is now used. I imagine in the early days it was just chock-a-block with uh, barges and boats. But I have to say that since I've been on it, which is pushing two hours now, I haven't seen a single craft of any sort. All the bridges are either high enough for boats, not with masts, but uh, 
lower boats and barges to go under or they um, can be raised. So they probably still use it but I don't think very often I think the trains and, and trucks have made uh, transport um, less affordable for the Anyhow, I think uh, I'll just give you a. Ah, I say that, and look, look what there is. The first boat I've seen on the river, or on the canal, so far in my journey. So, wouldn't you know it? It immediately makes a liar of me. That's obviously a uh, pleasure craft of some sort. I think they all have to be able to readily uh, put their masts down, as this one has. You certainly wouldn't get under the bridges with, a, with your mast up. Okay, with that I'll sign off and uh, see you next time.